Revive and Restore has been involved over the last 10 years on 54 projects, and we've been funding projects in 16 nations. And those projects are focused on 70 wild species. But wild species don't live in a vacuum. They require healthy ecosystems, and those ecosystems include people, their culture, and their values. Now, we were really excited when we heard that there was a project called One People, One Reef, operating in the middle of the Western Pacific in Micronesia. And what excited us about this project was the fact that it was trying to combine traditional knowledge with modern science with indigenous people. Let's hear from Magul Rumal. We're, uh, we're from the Atoll of Yulifi. It's part of the Yap state in the chain of what we call the Outer Islands. And it's basically about a stretch of 99 islands in Micronesia. We're, we're very subsistence community. We depend so much on maybe 90% on our resources, our local resources. So we still grow our own food with very little import. I think like many, many people, many, many coastline communities, we are facing climate change and that's no surprise to everybody, but definitely not for us. We used to be able to predict certain birds and certain fish migrate associated with these weather patterns and those associated stars that we call the, the traditional markers. Now, these patterns have changed quite a bit. And we can't depend so much on on traditional knowledge because it's changed. And so I think that acceptance of that and that willingness to, to seek further or new information kind of started earlier on. We need to seek more information because it's moving much faster than we ever know. So it takes science, it takes, you know, genomics and, and DNA that is now collected to the way that more accurate count of assessing the reef health and the fish count. It takes that kind of science and knowledge to be able to help us make a decision on management. We've seen positive changes in combining these wisdoms of the West and, and traditional knowledge and coming up with creative ways to adapt to the fast decline in, in some areas. I think that the responsibility now in my mind is to spread this through the region and low, low lying communities like us to join the efforts and see from the 10 years of data of how we can and we will be able to, to fight some of these fast changing decline in our reefs and resources.